Hello and welcome. My name is Hitesh Patel and this is ITIL in just seven minutes. ITIL is a library of best practice. It's a practical framework that allows organizations to identify, plan, deliver, support and improve IT services. The key focus around the service management framework is about delivering value. Organizations around the world are adopting this framework and it's the most widely accepted and adopted framework globally in service management. ITIL focuses on IT services, services that deliver value. Let's take a non-IT example. When you walk into a grocery store, what do you look for in terms of expectations to be delivered? You look for fresh ingredients, correct pricing, and potentially service with a smile. Okay, maybe I'm asking too much for that point. But these are the key expectations that you would be looking for as a service provider to ensure that you deliver these and the customer's happy. ITIL works in a very similar way by ensuring that we appreciate what the expectations are for our customers and ensure they're recognized in the IT services that we deliver. A key benefit of ITIL is that it advocates the use of IT services to support core business needs. It provides guidance to organizations on how to use IT as a strategic tool to ensure that it can facilitate business change, transformation and growth with the optimum use of people, process and technology. The details of the framework can be found in a number of core publications which provide deeper real-world insight from top service management professionals. The key to implementation is to strike a balance between the theory of the best practice framework and the organizational needs of your organization. And it's this balance that will ensure that value is created. To reinforce the key concepts of the service life cycle, I'm going to relate this to the life cycle of building your dream home. Creating a vision of your dream home isn't going to be easy. A number of factors need to be taken into consideration, such as finances, resources, and time for delivery. Clear outcomes need to be set at this stage to ensure the value realized later will meet the outcomes that you expect. ITIL service strategy is very similar to identifying the vision of your dream home by ensuring that IT has a clear scope on what it must do to support the overall business vision. A number of key activities that are carried out as part of service strategy include creating and maintaining relationships with our customers, ensuring finances are available across the life cycle, and of course managing the portfolio of the services that we provide. Once the vision has been defined, the detailed planning can now begin. A feasibility study is carried out to ensure that a number of factors are looked into in further consideration, such as adhering to building regulations and acquiring relevant approvals from stakeholders that will be impacted by the implementation of that dream home. Building architects and planners will have vital roles here no matter how expensive, but they'll be very important in ensuring that we have plans, agreements and blueprints that are set in place before any implementation begins. ITIL service design is very similar to designing your dream home by ensuring that IT has a clear roadmap upon which services to deliver. A number of key activities carried out as part of service design include working with customers in formulating service agreements and ensuring that all our blueprints have the relevant assurance factors such as availability, capacity, security and IT service continuity. Once the signed blueprints have been received from your building architects and planners, the actual implementation of your dream home can now begin. You may want to build your home in terms of phases, focusing on one room at a time, and applying relevant testing controls to areas such as electricity, water, and potentially soundproofing too. ITIL service transition is very similar to implementing your dream home by ensuring that whatever IT delivers is aligned to those service blueprints that we defined as part of service design. A number of key activities that are performed as part of transition include the build, test and deployment being controlled by relevant change controls and ensuring that any assets that we use as part of service transition are from controlled sources. 
After your dream home has been built, it's now ready for live operation and you can finally move in. Be prepared that as you do move in, during your accommodation, you may experience certain issues that can be dealt with as part of day-to-day -day support and maintenance. ITIL service operation is very similar to living in your dream home by ensuring that any of the services that we offer in our live environment deliver value to our customers, as defined by our strategic objectives. Key activities as part of service operation include forming escalation points for our customers to deal with incidents and requests, as well as dealing with any repeated or major incidents. After living in your dream home, you may identify improvements moving forward. Improvements could be repainting that spare bedroom for that new arrival, or actually getting in that new swimming pool that you've always wanted. Whatever the improvements may be, they have to be captured and reviewed before they're accepted moving forward. ITIL Continual Service Improvement ensures there's ongoing momentum to focusing on demonstrating value and realigning to changes in customer expectations. ITIL Continual Service Improvement is about ensuring that we spread the love across the life cycle, or as ITIL says, spreading value. There is a growing need to become ITIL certified and training with an organization like LearningTree is essential. The certification will demonstrate your first class service management skills and improve your standing within the IT community and improve your employment aspects. You may have further questions after this session, such as which area of the framework should I implement first? Or what considerations do I need to apply when implementing best practice? Answers to these questions and many more can be found at the following URL. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on my future ITIL videos. Thank you for watching. This was ITIL in 7 Minutes.